And we have uh, Abu Hafs from Bangladesh. Uh, Sheikh, my question is, uh, I had woken up and realized that I was in state of Janaba, and uh, hence I took the acceptable ghusl quickly since the time for Jamara of Salah was closed. After getting out and like uh, towel drying myself and wearing the clothes, uh, I was in doubt whether I missed uh, rinsing my mouth and nose or not. Uh, then and there, I rushed to the basin and rinsed my mouth and nose, and it was after I wore uh, the clothes. Uh, is my ghusl valid, Sheikh? Okay, I will answer you, inshallah. Abu Hafs says he performed ghusl, and after performing ghusl, after he dried his body, he remembered, or actually he doubted, that he may not have uh, turned the water in his mouth and uh, rinsed his nostrils. So after wearing his clothes, he did that. So is it valid or not? It's an issue of dispute, first of all. According to the Hanafi, uh, uh, that is, according to the Hanbali school of thought, we Hanbali, we believe that there shouldn't be any simultaneous list, I don't know what's a noun there, simultaneously done or simultaneousness. I hope it's, it's the right noun, um, between the acts of ghusl, unlike wudu. Wudu has six pillars, washing the face, washing the arms, washing, wiping the head, washing the feet. It has to be in sequence, and sixthly, it has to be simultaneous. In ghusl, the Hanbali school of thought say, no, you can do that and half an hour complete the rest of your body. You can wash the upper body in half an hour, an hour, complete the uh, other half, which is not authentic, not true. However, some scholars say if the time is so close, meaning a woman washed her entire body in ghusl, and after she finished, she noticed that there are nail polish remaining. So she spent time removing it after her body was dried, and then she went on. The time is very close, so it counts as valid. And the most important thing is, there is a rule that the scholars have, which is the doubts that arise after the form of worship is over are to be ignored. I went to Mecca for Umrah. I did seven rounds. I finished my seventh round while I was going to pray the two rakahs of tawaf, I finish my tawaf, I get these thoughts that, did I do six or seven? Should I go and add another round? The answer is no, because my form of worship, the tawaf, was done. So any doubt that comes, I have to ignore. But if the doubt was in the same form of worship, while I was in the third or the fourth or the seventh round, and then I got this doubt, in this case, I have to add one to be safe, rather than sorry. So for your case, what you have done was enough, insha'Allah.